Hello everyone, this is Irie Babel. Welcome back. Today we'll take a look at Chateau de Haute Koenigsberg. The Alsace region of France borders Germany, France, Switzerland, with the major city of Strasbourg being a focal point. There are many castles in the area, but none like the medieval castle of Koenigsberg or Chateau de Haute Koenigsberg. It is a marvel of the Alsace region of France. If you are in the northeastern France and looking to explore a proper castle, look no further. According to their website, the Chateau welcomes up to half a million visitors per year. You can purchase tickets on site, but in the summertime, the attendance can be high, so online ticketing is recommended. If you wish to explore the upper ramparts, you must have tickets. My visit was in the winter season, which sees a much lower attendance and has the attraction of the charming Christmas decorations. You can plan group tours or individual visits. Check the website for opening times and rates are reasonable and the lower portion of the castle is also handicapped and wheelchair accessible. Unfortunately, to get to the upper ramparts, it involves a narrow stairway with many, many small steps. If you are visiting in the winter season, please ensure that you have proper shoes and a warm coat as it does get chilly up into the high mountain region. From high atop the mountainside, the chateau dates back nine centuries and has been the backdrop in a few Hollywood movies. What a panoramic view of the Alsace Plain, the Black Forest and the Alps. The mountain fortress got its start in the 12th century. The castle sits about 700 meters high and in its day was the perfect observation outlook of the main commercial routes through Alsace with wheat, wine, salt, and silver in the area and the routes that intersect in this Alsace region. And this also represented a strategic retreat point. And through the years, the castle played its part in many wars and skirmishes. Born in the Middle Ages, the castle was built for the German imperial family and later, according to their website, was besieged, destroyed by fire, and looted. It was abandoned after 1633, then offered to the Emperor William II in 1899, whose wish it was to restore the German Empire and when Alsace was annexed to Germany. In the beginning of the 20th century, the chateau became the property of the French state through the Treaty of Versailles and becomes known as a national palace and later a historical monument in 1993. The restoration continues today. 
There is much to learn here about the castle. The rich history can be seen in its walls, the ramparts, the battlements, the cannons, and weapons, as well as furnishings. It is also not far from many tourist sites as it sits in the center of the Alsace region. This makes Chateau de Hort Königsberg a must visit on any Northeastern France tourist itinerary. To learn more, visit HTTPS www.hotconingsburg.fr slash forward en for more information. Whatever you decide to do, I hope you enjoy your visit to this area and the chateau. And please, as always, have a go at great adventure and keep traveling. As always, thank you to TC for your assistance with filming. A bientôt. See you next time.